Why, hello, ho, ho there, and sorry for the awful pun, but it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Sorry for that pun, too. Anyway, I'm Adam, the writer and illustrator of the Moose Book series, which are children's books about a traveling moose. Today we'll be reading The Moose's Christmas Story. I was inspired to write this story because I wanted to write a Christmas story about the moose. This is the fifth book in the Moose Book series. Uh, like my other children's books, it's done in colored pencil, and my children have cameos in the story, and they like it. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. Here's the story. It was Christmas time again in Maine. As the moose got ready for Christmas, he thought about what he wanted from Santa. Suddenly, the moose knew what he wanted for Christmas. The moose rushed over to the local department store. He patiently waited in line to meet Santa. Finally, it was the moose's turn to see Santa. The moose sat on Santa's lap and told Santa what he wanted for Christmas. The moose said that he wanted to help pull Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve. Santa said that it sounded like a marvelous idea and that he would pick the moose up on Christmas Eve. The big day had finally arrived, Christmas Eve. After landing his sleigh, Santa hooked the moose up to the rest of the reindeer and away they went. The moose's antlers were too large for Santa to see around. Santa ended up crashing his sleigh and hurt his leg. Santa told the moose and the reindeer that he was too injured to deliver the presents. The moose spoke up and said that he could help out and deliver all the presents. The moose put on Santa's big red coat and hat before taking the controls of the sleigh. That evening, the moose delivered all of Santa's presents. While delivering the presents, he ran into a guard dog, accidentally woke up some children, got stuck in the chimney, and even burnt his butt from the hot fireplace. By the end of the night, the moose returned Santa and the reindeer to the North Pole. Back at Santa's house, everyone enjoyed some well-deserved hot chocolate. The End